India is a country filled with flavor, tradition, immense population size, and wildly diverse culture. It is a land of sensory overload in every form imaginable. Within moments of entering the country, you can smell an intoxicating mixture of incense, spices, garbage, and marigolds. With a dense ancient history, India is home to many great historical sites that echo ancient traditions whose legacies continue to blossom. It is a place where the most extreme opposites coexist. You find people living in mansions and see others living in houses made of cardboard boxes right next door. These sites can be extremely overwhelming and despairing. There are so many people who live at an inconceivable level of poverty. But amongst all of this, there are so many generous people willing to help and give new opportunities to those in need. There are many different groups and organizations throughout India striving to help those around them. Tender Heart Educational Society is just one of the many organizations like this. We are a charitable organization out of the city of Faridabad, India, less than 20 miles south of New Delhi. We are a non-profit, non-government organization that supports an inner-city kindergarten school for underprivileged children in Faridabad and a much larger school in the village Batola that is outside of the city. The kindergarten school supports nearly 75 children from preschool age through first class. All of the children who attend the school live in Faridabad and the neighboring slums. Their curriculum consists of Hindi and English basics as well as general studies. The children also participate in an annual dance performance. The village school supports over 200 rural children from preschool age through eighth class. The school has been evolving since it was built 12 years ago, with new additions being added every few years. The students who attend live in Patola and four other surrounding villages. Some of them come from quite a distance just to get an education, and many of them are the first of their families to even attend school. After the children graduate from primary school, Tenderheart assists them in the process of applying to different high schools. We hope to prepare these children for the many opportunities that lay ahead of them. Additionally, at the village school, there is a specialized program for rural children with developmental disabilities, which is the only program of this kind in the area, so most of these children travel quite a distance to attend it. We have a highly trained specialist working with the students who is assisted by qualified teacher aides. In the classroom, the children participate in various crafts and therapeutic activities throughout the day, such as gardening, making candles, singing and dancing, as well as their general studies. They have recently begun to get involved with regional sports competitions, which a few of them have really excelled in. All of the children in the specialized program have an individualized educational plan that is catered to their needs. This program at Tender Heart has expanded significantly over the past few years, where we now have nearly five times as many children as we had just a few years ago. Our goal is to continue in this trend, providing opportunities that were once unheard of in this region, and mainstreaming the children as productive members of society where they can lead fulfilling lives. Tender Heart also operates a women's empowerment program for young women and widows in need of work, vocational skills, or just some moral support as many of these girls have lived very oppressed lives and most were unable to attend school past the fifth grade. They are all working very hard, trying to make a living and support their families as many of their rural communities are being swallowed up by ever-expanding urban and commercial centers. They perform vocational work, making jewelry and handicrafts, as well as various other handmade items outsourced through major companies in London. The sad reality is that these are just a few of the artisans in India who spend their days laboring over handmade products for foreign companies, receiving very little in the way of compensation. As a non-government and non-profit organization, Tenderheart receives very little in the way of funding. There are few organizations that provide a modest donation to assist in the transportation for the teachers. 
All of these teachers and support workers at the kindergarten school, primary school, specialized program, and women's empowerment program work on a voluntary basis. They are all very passionate about their work and do their best to provide creative stimulation and expression for the children, utilizing the small amount of resources that they have at their disposal. The founder of Tender Heart Educational Society, Rainu Bali, received education from Delhi University in psychology, philosophy, and education. Having come from a more privileged upbringing, she has devoted most of her adult life to educating the underprivileged and working to alleviate poverty. She believes that hard work is one of the most rewarding investments a person can make in their life. She values education and feels that self-expression is a necessary component of the learning process. Her philosophy in education states that we are all students, we are always learning, and we must take what knowledge and understanding we can from each of our experiences and the world around us. <laughs> the Tenderheart schools in the city of Faridabad and the village of Patola are always in need of volunteers. Volunteers can work as elementary teachers or special needs teachers in the schools. They could teach general education studies or they can give classes on the arts, something which their children rarely get an opportunity to experience. As a volunteer, there are numerous opportunities for you to contribute and enrich the lives of many. From gardening to sports to teaching new trade skills to the Women's Empowerment Group, the possibilities are endless. Whatever it is that you feel you are able to give, we welcome you to share with us. Simply your presence and the ability to open their eyes to another culture is a gift in itself. When you volunteer with Tender Heart, you stay at the home of Renu Bali, the founder of the organization, and you get to experience Indian traditions, food, and culture firsthand. You also have the opportunity to travel and experience the vast country of India on your weekends while volunteering, or before or after your volunteering stay. And Renu and her family can be of much help when making any travel arrangements. For more information about volunteering with Tender Heart NGO, or if you are interested in arranging a volunteering trip, you can visit www.tenderheartngo.org slash volunteer.htm, or you can contact tenderheartngo at yahoo.com or lenacolone at gmail.com. How are you? I am fine. <laughs> The smiling faces of Tender Heart are an inspiring reminder that even with so little, so much joy can come. At Tender Heart, we believe that every human deserves the right to an education and the opportunity for growth. It is a fundamental aspect of humanity to learn and experience the world around us. We are not a people of separate nations. All of us are part of a singular whole to which we are responsible to protect, encourage, and uplift. 